Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set your speed programmer back to the advanced menu. So here we go. It says display DTCs. So this is one way that we can solve that. Go ahead and unplug the spade. Hold down the next button. Plug it back in. And there we go. It is set back to the advanced menu. We have all the options again. If holding down the next button didn't work for you, this is what we're going to have to do on the computer. We're going to go to eFileLive Scan and Tune, which we would have gotten from downloading eFileLive V8, and we also would have gotten eFileLive Explorer from that. But we're not going to need to use that right now. So we're just going to go to eFileLive Scan and Tune here, open that guy up. Okay, once we're in here, on our left side, you can see F6 Devices. Click on that. All right. Once we're in here, we're going to go over to F5 Options. Once in here, you can see it is set to Display Symbol Menu. Well, we need it set to Display Advanced Menu, so click on that. And go on down here to Program. Press OK. Close. But make sure you don't save. OK, and it's easy as that. Now the Spade Programmer is set back to the Advanced Menu and it will no longer display uh, display all DTCs. Okay, so with the spade set back to the advanced menu, we're ready to head out to the truck and go program it. So if you have any other questions or concerns, feel free to give us a call at 815-568-7920. I myself or any other guys here will be more than happy to help you with any questions you might have.